So I've been trying to donate some things for quite some time to the local Salvation Army um, donation, family donation center. Um, I, you know, I'm a very minimalistic guy. Uh, I've, I've had purchased way too many things in my life and I've slowly been dwindling them down. Over the past couple of years, I watched a great documentary on Netflix um, about minimalistic uh, lifestyle. And it's something that I've uh, become passionate about. It's something that I actually start to get like kind of stressed out. And when I look around my apartment, sometimes it just helps to just throw something away. Just look around the apartment, grab an item and chuck it and be like, don't need that anymore. That's gone now. You know, just it helps me. Um, I don't know. I can't really explain it until you experience it, but there's just, you know, we live in a society where you are programmed that you need things, right? Everywhere you go, there's an impulse buy that you don't, you didn't come to the store for that item, but here you are buying it at the checkout, right? Um, when a relative is moving, what do they do? Um, they give you things. Hey, take this, take that. I don't need this. Uh, you know, one last thing to pack up. And then... You take it, right? Because it's a free thing. Hey, free stuff, right? We love free stuff. Stuff is awesome, especially when it's free. That's my favorite kind of stuff, right? No. Get out of that mentality. You don't need the stuff, right? Free t-shirt for every time Every time you go on vacation, you spend $30 on a t-shirt. You wore a t-shirt there, bro. You don't need that t-shirt. You don't need it, right? Anyway, uh, I kind of lost the point of this video. Oh, Salvation Army. So there is a sign out front that they put out and they rope it off to where you can't get in there when they're closed, right? Because they don't want you dropping off, off after hours, which I get. That's annoying as fuck. Don't drop stuff off after hours. Someone comes in, they got their coffee, they're ready to start their day out. Hey, get to work. There's 50 bags in front of the door. I can't get the door open, right? That fucking sucks. Don't do that, right? I understand that, okay? So I don't do that won't drop off after hours okay got it don't drop off on sundays we're not open on sundays well most of the world's not open on sundays you know uh, a good majority of us don't work on sundays so no problem here won't drop off on sundays uh the donation hours are 10 a.m to 3 p.m man you're really making this difficult now uh, most people go to work at eight or nine in the morning right so now i can't drop it off on the way to work well, you know what? I get two days off a week, so that's no big deal, right? Um, I'm off usually on Tuesdays. Today was a rare Monday that I'm off. So here I am. Monday, I got there. It's currently 155. I got there at 120. At 120, I was set to donate, right? Ready? Here's my time, right? I've been I've been driving by this place every goddamn morning for the past 17 weeks, and here's my time to get this shit out of the back of my car. <clears throat> they have reached capacity for the day. They are no longer taking donations. So there's a sign that says we're full for the day, and then there's a sign that says drop off between 10 and 3. So... Now the signs contradict each other. So I go inside and I'm not, I'm not a Karen. And you know what? I actually don't like to use that term anymore because my girlfriend's mother's name is Karen. So uh, Karen, please don't take disrespect from this. I'm not a, uh, um, I don't know. Every girl name I think of is a girl I know that's gonna be offended. So anyway, let's just say I'm not a customer to complain, right? I'm not here to complain. I don't need to see a manager. I don't want a coupon to come back. I don't need none of that, right? I'm just here to casually get some information. So I, I this gentleman came up to me and said, hey, what can I do for you? I said, hey, just need some info from you. I understand you're at capacity today. How does one actually donate things here? He says, well, because I said you're closed on Sundays, right? That's mostly, most people's day off is Sundays. Uh, you don't take donations till 10 a.m. Most people are at work by then. Um, you're open till 3. Most people haven't got off work yet. But every day it seems like you're at capacity before 3 o'clock. He, so he says, yeah, your best bet is to get here. But we pretty much close at 1 every day. So your best bet is to get here between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. I said, Tyler, I think his name was Tyler. I didn't actually call him by name. I said, you know what? 
that's a frustrating system you got there. And he said, hey, man, I'm really sorry. And I said, hey, 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 I'm not mad at you. I, I appreciate the information. I said, thank you for your time. I appreciate the information. Do you know anywhere else I could take these things um, that I have to donate? And he didn't. He had no idea. So, again, I left this situation. I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at the Salvation Army for, like, oh, you won't take my things that I don't even want. I don't. It's okay. I don't. I don't blame you, you know, but this is, I don't know. I had to say something. I had to rant a little bit, but this rant isn't like a fuck you to Tyler. That's not really his name. And it's not a fuck you to the Salvation Army because, you know, I want to take it to the Salvation Army over like a Goodwill where the CEO makes bank on your, um, on your donations. Uh, I would like to think the Salvation Army is a better system. I don't, I don't know the facts though. So if you guys comment below roasting me, Brett, the Salvation Army, I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. I don't know. So don't come at me with that. But anyway, um, minimalistic lifestyle is the way to go. If you take anything away from this six minute video, minimalism is the way. Karens are not all bad, right? Um, I'm going to go work out. I'm on a pre-workout high right now. I got the jitters. I'm starting to shake a little bit. Uh, anyway, I hope everybody has a great Monday today, and I hope that everybody, I don't know, doubleheader tonight, Monday Night Football.